Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This is on how to change Google Chrome icon. That's right, the little Chrome icon you see at the bottom of your screen right here or on your desktop. Um, we can change that little color wheel to whatever you, ever we want. I love customizing things. If you know me, I read a few of my articles. I'd like to tweak things every so often to give it my personality. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every Thursday. All right, we're going to get started. The first thing we have to do is make sure we have our file that we need. It has to be a .ico, which is an icon file. And I'm going to show you actually how to do that really quick to how to convert one of your images into that type of file. I use something called, I'll show you, I use something called IC, icoconvert.com. It works for me. I never had a real big problem with it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the next thing is do you want to decide what picture you want to convert to this file we want. So you're going to choose a file right here. Step one off your, off your, um, computer. I'm going to choose this guy right here. He's fun. My brother, my son plays gorilla tag. So I'm going to click on that. It's a fun little image. And then you click on it and you click open and that will bring it up into the file here and you upload it. So it's going to upload now. Successfully uploaded. Now we're going to go down to step two. You can crop it if you want, but I don't want to. So I'm going to keep going down. Step three, I don't really care. You can choose one of these. The original, it stays as the original. You can choose a different one if you want to put a shape around it. I'm just going to keep the original like it is. So I'm not going to select that. And then you're going to go down here. And we want it to be an ICO for Windows 10, 11, 7, 8. That's because that's what I use. So we're going to do it for that. And then if you go to step 5, I'm just going to keep it on this one. Step 5 is convert. So you want to hit convert ICO. That's the one you want to choose. So convert it. And then you want to download it. Download your icon. So you do that. And now it's downloaded. So if you go back to your files right here. I already did it once. So there it is right there. Now we're going to make this our Google Chrome icon. So let's do that. The next step we need to do is let's get out of this screen. We're going to go to the bottom of the screen. We'll go down here and get the search box pop up and you're going to type in Chrome. Very straightforward. Oop, I hit my mic. There you go. And then you're going to right click when it pops up here. You're going to right click in here and you're going to go to open file location. This is the quickest way to get there. So once you do that, it's going to open file location. Then right where you find the Google Chrome, you're going to right click there again. And then you're going to go down to properties right here. Click on that. And then it's going to go to this shortcut tab. Make sure you're on the shortcut tab and look down to change icon. That's what you want to do. So you're going to click on change icon. And then it's going to give you the standard ones you can change it to, but we don't want those. We want to browse. So we're going to browse. And then we want to go to downloads because that's where my file is. And we're going to choose our Gorilla. Select it. And then once you select it, you're going to click open. And then it's going to show you it right here. And you're going to say, yeah, I like that. So you say, okay. And then what you do is, actually, I think I moved, let me move this up. There it is. You're going to click on apply. And it will give you this. Now, sometimes you won't get this, but my system does this all the time. So I just say continue. And I go OK. And then you click on OK. And then what you can do is this. Now you're going to get out of here. Go out here. Now, as of right now, it you won't notice it hasn't changed yet. It's because you have to reboot your system. So we're going to do that real quick and be right back. OK, now we have rebooted. And actually, I'm going to show you how this works. It's kind of weird. So we're going to shrink this out of the way. And you're going to notice it still looks like it's the same look. Well, I'll show you something different. So drag this down to your shortcut bar and it will actually appear as the monk, the gorilla we put in. And the way, the one thing it does not change automatically is the one on the actual desktop. It actually changes the one in the taskbar and everywhere else, but I found out that it doesn't change this automatically. So you have to do the same process to get it to work real fast. So we'll do that right now. So you're just going to go to the prop. You're going to right click on the icon on the desktop. You're going to go down to properties. You're going to go to change icon and see it shows it there, but it's not showing it here. So you're going to browse for the icon and we're going to go to our downloads because that's where I had it. And then I'm going to choose it and we're going to say open. We're going to say OK, like we did last time. And we're going to pl click apply and say yes, continue. 
and then you notice that and say OK and look it changed the Chrome icon on the desktop. So it changes it everywhere else the, the way we did the first time. But if you have the icon on your desktop, you have to do it one more time through that icon. But after that, it is now changed. Now, word of warning, it will, if you have an update on your system, it will actually um, remove the icon. Uh, it did it to me, so you might have to do it again. But it's really fast, as I showed you. Um, but make sure you do it both ways. And if you want to, um, the, the interesting thing I found out was if you, if it, you get back on, it shows the Google icon. If you drag it down to the taskbar and pin it, it will show the actual icon you changed it to. So if you want to change on the desktop, that's how you do it too. So that's how easy it is. I know it seems like a lot of stats, but pretty easy to change the Google Chrome icon. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.